Bulabinaka, and welcome to another God of Our Nation program on every Sundays. Today we welcome you all the way from Turek in Silva to all over the world. Hallelujah. And for those of you who always take the time to listen in and join us every Sunday morning at 10.30 uh, from uh, Fiji. Yes. Uh, today we have a special program. Special program. Yes, today. Uh, it's going to be the uh, child ordainment. And uh, we have uh, actually announced it last Sunday. So as we uh, ordain the children today, not only for the infants, uh, for those that are newborn, uh, also the same to every children uh, that hasn't been dedicated to God or, has been, or hasn't been ordained uh, to the things of God or to join uh, the body of Christ. Or even dedicated to God. Yes. Yeah. So today we will be uh, having that, and there's quite a fair bit of children uh, today. And uh, we are so blessed and overwhelmed yes. with a lot of children. We never um, expected Yes, number. the number. And uh, for those of you uh, logging in from uh, foreign churches, uh, New Methodist, uh, we have uh, Europe, we have New Zealand, Australia, and also USA and Vanuatu. Um, for Fiji alone, uh, we have a total number of 260 uh, children, and that's quite a lot of children, Praise but we are so excited Lord. today uh, because we believe it's going to be a, a new beginning, a new excitement. Very, um, this very special day today, yes, because I think it's uh, one of its kind uh, to dedicate children live on air. Amen. I remember this morning, you remember, yes, we were you, sharing, yeah, about sharing a pastor, you, a pastor that uh, his mother heard somebody. Will about to dedicate uh, on the radio uh, the children on the radio live. So uh, his mother brought uh, him next to the radio and listened to the pastor yeah, dedicating that was, children. Yeah, that That's, was awesome. Yeah, yeah, awesome. And I believe um, years to come there'll be a lot of people, new Methodists and non-new Methodists, that they have this day as a special day. Yes. Yeah, to to dedicate uh, to the Lord and uh, dedication means. Uh, uh, you you want to do something very important because of something that you love. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's quite something very unique, uh, not normally taken seriously as uh, as in the church. Mm. But uh, to those that love God, I mean, you are placing the future of your child to the mighty hands, hands of God. Of God. <laughs> yes. And uh, I believe that that is very special. And uh, maybe our parents they don't really know the Bible that much or even go to school uh, for, to achieve the education level that we have. But one thing for sure, they dedicate their children to, to the mighty hands of God. Eh? Yes. yes. And uh, for church members or for New Methodists, uh, it has been announced, and I believe that we have been reminded over the week uh, for the names that has been sent in, which we have right here in front of us. <laughs> and uh, we will ask you, if you are worshipping together as a zone today, we will, uh, Gasele will take us through a few uh, uh, lessons and highlights on the ordainment. And if you're worshiping as a zone, uh, you will need, as the time comes, for you to uh, stand up and uh, hold your baby or stand up with your children. I'm, I'm talking yes. to us parents um, in front of our senior pastor if you are worshiping as a zone uh, today. But if you're worshiping as a worship center, you will still need to do the same, but you will stand in front of your pastor um, this morning. But if you are worshiping from home as a family, just stand in front of the TV screen, okay. uh, wherever you are. And, uh, and also, uh, on the same token, I, I would like to invite uh, non-churchgoers yes. or people who don't have a church to go to, uh, nor do you believe in anything. Uh, this is a general invitation to you all. Um, maybe, you know, you think, you know, what do we need to do that? Uh, we believe that we, when we commit our children to God, uh, God becomes, you know, the focus of their life. Like he is there for them when we are not. When they go to school, we are not with them. There's a lot of things that comes by with this ordainment or uh, with this dedication to God. So if you are not a non-believer or you don't go to church at all, not, uh, you're not a member of New Methodist, but uh, your children, uh, no matter how old they are, they can yes. be in high school or they can be in primary school. You know, over the years, you forgot to, to have that done or you are not a member of the church uh, to remind yes. you to get that done or you didn't see the importance then to have it done. But today is the day for you. Yes. Um, it doesn't matter what they're wearing. It doesn't matter where they are. I just get them close to where the TV screen is uh, so we can all come in agreement and commit them to the Lord Jesus Christ today. Yes. And uh, we believe whatever prayer that we're going to be having today, uh, it's going to be a covenant-keeping uh, prayer because we are, we are dedicating them to a covenant-keeping God uh, who's going to be their um, Savior and uh, their God. 
I'm going to be watching over them. Especially so for this time, uh, which yeah. Gasile will take us through, uh, you know, during this pandemic, a lot of uh, things that are happening. There's a lot of things that are beyond our control and dedicating them or ordaining them to the presence of God. Uh, we are actually relying and trusting God uh, for our children's life. So for the foreign, we will be announcing your names because we only have about three, four, one, and four. But for Fiji, there's about 260. Um, on the total, we have, uh, from the Central Division, we have 45 ch uh, uh, children. Uh, from Eastern Division, we have 11. Uh, Northern Division, we also have 45. And from the Western Division, which is the, the highest, it's 159. Hallelujah. Uh, so, thank you, Western. Yeah, thank you, Western. That's new souls. So... We've got quite a fair bit of number with us. And all these names that are going to be yeah. uh, uh, prayed over today, you will be getting the ordainment certificate, uh, like uh, a proof that your child has been ordained or has been prayed over, has been uh, uh, welcomed to a body of Christ. And the ordainment certificates, you can get that uh, from uh, Tuvana Nimata Sa, who is our executive manager of production and training, or pick it up from the headquarters office in Laudala Beach State, uh, Lot 3 at Sekola Road. Uh, for those of you foreign, we will try to send your certificates uh, across uh, to you uh, for you to have it as part of your, your, your children's history on the walks of, of their lives. So those are the names and those are the number and those are exactly what we are sitting on today and um Gassele will take us through and a few right. other things that he wanted to take us through uh, for us to know the importance or maybe you've never done it before mm -hmm. and this is a good time to learn good yes. time to hear and good time to share and if you know you have your friends uh, that also have children and they you know they don't go to church and um this will be a good opportunity for you to mm -hmm. share with them because we will try uh, as the requests come by, yeah. if we can also look after that, uh, can be on a monthly, yeah, monthly, monthly basis, basis uh, yeah. once in a month, for yeah. us to dedicate our children. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, children dedication or bringing to the Lord, it's part and parcel of what's written in the Bible. Amen. Uh, one example, good example, uh, is Samuel. According to the Bible, that the mother Hannah was uh, was crying for baby. When the baby came, uh, he, he was named Samuel. That means God hears our prayer. And uh, he was dedicated back to God. Amen. And uh, same as Jesus. Jesus was dedicated back to God. So it's a biblical foundation that we give back to God what God gave to us. Hallelujah. According to, to what we know that God knew us, before we oh, even become yeah. a person. Amen. The Bible says, I, I know you before you were conceived in your mother's womb. So dedication is something that we come and tell God, thank you very much. Eh? Mm. Now, not be mistaken. Dedication is not baptism. There's mm. two different things altogether. Dedication is our duty as a parent to bring our child back to God and say, thank you. Thank you for the fruit of the womb. Yeah. That is dedication. So we pray over the child, and until that child grow up and know what is good, what is bad, the evil and the good. And that's when we need salvation. So my friend that you are watching today, uh, church members, uh, parents, or even non-church members that you are watching, this is not salvation. Amen. This is what we call dedication, mm -hmm. or what we can say, we bring it to God. Amen. And we tell God, thank you. So the, ta the time will come when we nurture them. They will accept Jesus Christ as their yeah. personal yeah. Savior and Lord. That's a different thing altogether. Amen. And that is baptism. Some, they, they combine the baptism and the dedication. Yeah. And that's not biblical. The biblical is we bring it to the Lord and we say thank you. I, I hope that I'm clear today that it's not baptism. This is dedication. Yeah. Because Jesus said, don't stop children to come to me. Because there is the kingdom of God. Amen. So when they, are, when they are children like that, because they come from God, if anything happened to them, they will go back to God. Until such a time that we commit sin, then we are separated from God. And that's why we need baptism. The Bible says, go and preach the gospel. For those that believe, baptize them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I hope I'm clear on that. And uh, 
in the Bible, there are examples of children, as I said before. Um, uh, example, Samuel, an example, Jesus. There are so much examples, but I just bring to us the easy one for us to remember. Yeah. And as we will dedicate, uh, uh, just happened to be our seventh... <laughs> Seventh grandchild, grandchild uh, Lekela. Come, Lekela. <laughs> and uh, I believe it will be such a blessing uh, that Lekela is here. And uh, when we when we <coughs> dedicate, it has been become a tradition in churches. All the churches, regardless our name, it's becoming a tradition and culture in the church today to bring our children to God, to say to God, thank you very much. Yeah. And... Uh, it's just, it just very, very broad, I will share with you. If God does not build the house, this is part of the house. This child here is part of the house, part of our, of, of, of our house. The Bible says, if God does not build the house, then the builders will walk in vain. If God does not watch over the city, then those that watch the city will watch in vain. Amen. So it's very important. I see it very important because of the tiles, and the temptation, the spirit that's in the world today, they will look for, for children like, like this. And that's why we have a lot of rebellion, a lot of uh, indisciplined children in the world today. I believe because we don't dedicate them to God. Amen. So if you're sitting yeah. there with your children, get ready. We'll go into, uh, into our ritual today as we commit. Uh, hallelujah. And uh, you, can, you, can, you two can move, move closer. Move closer. <laughs> move closer. And uh, uh, yes, we will be dedicating um, uh, Lekela from uh, the studio here in Silver. In actual fact, having her dedication uh, has prompted the invitation to all of you. That has resulted in this about uh, 300 children uh, to be prayed over today. Uh, we thought of uh, doing it at the foreshore. There were other mm. ways of doing it, but uh, we believe that uh, through the dedication of this uh, child, uh, it's going to be uh, a blessing yes. in having nearly 300 children uh, being blessed as well. So on the, on the same uh, token, uh, before we uh, uh, do the process, like as we have initially invited all of us, uh, if you are at, at the zone level, worship today, uh, this will be the time for you to step forward, mm -hmm. uh, parents, and uh, hold your, your child or your children's hand and uh, stand at the altar. And also for you, worship center, uh, this morning, also do the same. And for the family, stand be, uh, you know, before the, the TV screen, uh, ready for the ordainment. As Ngasele was going to take us through with, um, with Lekela today, uh, the same thing, uh, you as a senior pastor or pastor at home, We'll be mentioning the names of those children that are standing in front of you. Like what we, uh, we said today, uh, the number is so huge for Fiji. Uh, but for foreign, uh, we, I would like to announce the names of the babies or the children uh, that are there uh, to be prayed over today. Um, in Europe, we have uh, UK Northwest, uh, Aralai, uh, Aralia, uh, Lechria, and Rosse. And we have uh, Ruth Savaya, uh, Agape Uliviti. We have Gideon Vala Linga. So that's from Europe, uh, from UK North, UK South, and also UK Northwest. Uh, from New Zealand, we have uh, Atunaisa Junior, that's from Auckland. We have Josefa Tuikite, also from Auckland. We have Mary Alice Tuikite, also from Auckland. And also Liara, uh, Evelina, Nata Elkolo, Lolaka. Oh, that's a beautiful name. And also in Australia, we have uh, from Brisbane, uh, Jediah, Israel, Rokovanda, and uh, Talei Lendua, Kalondonu, uh, Susanna, Tuilau, Faith Rimek, Halloween Griffiths, and uh, Jessica Lee in uh, Sydney. So we have two from Griffiths, one from Sydney, one from Brisbane in Australia. And uh, also we have uh, Europe and New Zealand. From the United States of America, uh, we have uh, Amele Anna uh, Allstott in Hawaii. And Vanuatu, we have uh, Emory Budswells, Walela Kemba. We have uh, Monique Nakat. We have uh, Richmond Rich Cook and also Rory Catalao. So that's from Vanuatu. Vanuatu, USA, and uh, we have Australia, New Zealand, and Europe. Those are the names that we will be announcing this morning. And uh, for Fiji, uh, Tuvana will be actually going through uh, the slides as we uh, are going to have a dedication or after, because we will be showing um, Lekela's uh, dedication uh, this morning, and Gasselev is going to be dedicating her this morning. 
Come on, like Kayla. And this is like Kayla KD Miracle Volano. So, like Kayla is three weeks old, and uh, it's a dedication today. She loves to sleep, and she loves her food. That's why she's creating a fuss. So we will give this time to uh, Gasilevo to take us through uh, the dedication this morning. So as you stand with us uh, in the worship center or zone or at your home, or even if you don't belong to church, wherever you are, or through your phone, in a, uh, a porch or in the living room, uh, we invite you today to uh, listen in. And uh, as we uh, dedicate to Lake Kelly today, the same happen as well for your child or your children. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time as we are about to do our dedication. Yes, we commit unto you. And we thank you for everything. Thank you for your anointing power. Thank you, Father, that will go through the screen yes, from Father. the studio here because all the way from heaven to the people yes, Lord. in their home, oh, in their worship center, in halls, even outside. Yes, we Father. thank you, Father God, that we will be blessed through dedication this morning. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. I will ask a question. I uh, will be directed to the parents of Lekela, uh, Elijah, and Nate Vulono. And uh, also to those parents, whether you're sitting in your home or in church, um, three things that I will ask. Number one is for the child to know Jesus. Number yeah. two, honoring God in their life. And number three, to be good to others. Amen. So uh, those are the three questions. Yeah. And if you believe, just say, we, we do. do. Just say that, we do. So I will ask the first one to Elijah and Nate and also to the parents that you are out there. Will you nurture, teach, and guide this child in a manner to accept Jesus as her or his Lord and Savior? If you agree, say, we do. We do. And I hope that you are saying, we do wherever. The second question, to honor God or honoring God. Will you ensure that this child is trained and taught to glorify God in his or her life. If you agree, say, we do. We do. Thank you very much. And the last one, to be good to others or to be a good citizen. We will help and assist a, a commitment for this child to be kind to all and be good citizen. If you agree, say, we do. We do. So we thank you, parents, Elijah and Nate, and we thank you, parents, or guardian, or congregation, yeah. church elders, or even grandparents, that you are with your child. We pray that God will nurture and look after uh, that child from, from today until that God will call them back. Mm. Now, we, this is a time to dedicate. This is the time that we will dedicate. I will mention the name Lekela, but you can mention your child's name. Let us come before the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit Lekela's life to you from the crown of her head right to the sole of her feet. Amen. Also include all the child and all the children yes, Lord. that they are ready oh, to accept this morning. You, we thank you, Father God. In the name of the Father, in the name of uh, the Son, Amen. in the name of the Holy Spirit, we dedicate, we ordain with such anointing as we speak blessings, healing, and wealth oh, into their body. We thank you, Father God, today in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, yes, that you will go with them, by them, behind them, on their side, every day of their life. We thank you, Father God, as we dedicate Lekela yes, and the rest Lord. of the children that we are dedicated online this morning, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, that the guiding spirit yes. and the guiding oh, angels hallelujah. with their sword drawn will protect them and guide them in every direction of their life. As we dedicate this morning, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, we seek your blessing, your protection, and your provision. In Jesus' Wonderful name we pray and everyone say amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Now the second part and the final part. I will pray for all the boys and uh, Randini will pray for all the girls. And after that, this will be a short prayer. And I will pray for primary and secondary schools. And Randini will pray 
for all the infant right up to kindergarten. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we speak blessing to these children. Yes, Father. Thank you, Father God, for the wisdom, for the knowledge, the yes, discipline you. that you will uh, allow them to go through. Yes, all Father. the nurturing, the teaching, all the Christians teaching that uh, by the book, yes, in the Lord. book, of the book that they will carry for the rest of their life. From year 6 right up to year 13, I pray in the name of Jesus for blessings, yes, Lord. wisdom, knowledge in their life. I speak against any attack of the evil one, whether negative or whether any witchcraft, demonic activities. I bind it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for our children in primary school and also in secondary school. We thank you, Father God, for the commitment that they have. All the boys, all the calling, all the gift of their life. Bless them, O oh Lord. Bless them. Some will be doctors. Some will be nurse, some will be pilots, some will be a servant, prophet, teachers, and apostolic. We thank you, Father God, the calling that they have in, in their life. Name. We commit their life to you, all the boys that are dedicated this morning. We commit it unto your hand. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, this is a prayer for all the little girls uh, from infant and all the little uh, uh, beautiful princesses standing beside your parents today all over the world. Mm. Uh, every child uh, is uh, you know, a treasure uh, yeah. to every home. Uh, Lekela has brought so much joy to our family uh, because we have a group of boys at home. And uh, she is the youngest and also the seventh of our grandchild. So for all of you that are tuning in today, uh, looking at your children, everybody as a parent, uh, mm. naturally you will desire the best for your child. So let us come before the Lord in oh, prayer today. Oh, and uh, we commit them all the, to mm. the Lord. Uh, Father, we pray, we commit mm. to Lekela and mm. also all the uh, different girls out there that are the same age as her, as well as all the other little girls mm. that are standing beside their parents. And some of the girls, the Lord Jesus, that mm. uh, belong to family, uh, but they, uh, they are being adopted or they don't uh, have a proper place to stay and all the hurt and frustration in life. Lord, we I pray and mm. we come in agreement today. Yes. The studio, and Thank we you, commit Lord. them unto your good hands, so far. We receive your anointing power oh, and authority over their life. We receive the anointing of your protection over their life. We believe and we receive, oh Father, we decree, we declare uh, your beauty, oh, Lord Jesus, uh, for them to be beautiful girls, they yes, have a beautiful Lord. spirit. Yes, and also, Father, increase mm. their faith and sharpen their wisdom. Mm. They will be little Esther, so Father, full of faith, Lord Jesus, mm. and they will be a uh, stronger, Lord, and bold enough to stand up uh, for their family. Rush. And also, Lord Jesus, uh, mm. they will be bringing a lot lot of blessing to their home. Father, this morning we come in agreement yep. and we receive their father. It went to uh, be the, their strength. I commit all the infants, uh, mm. same age as uh, our okay. Kayla, Father, and also their moms uh, mm. to you. Lord Jesus, that you're going to be with them. Mm. Mm. Na sudu ni sulibir na bulung bulung ni anggun sini ni kuat na non rangan rabi dengan ni masalah kita langgan nak lebir na na ngon yang lewa erat itu nak kalau na bim mata buat balik esokan beka na teman rana ti nan rana ngon susu esok beka bi tumbun rana esok erat susu nak kalau na na bim mata buat balik tali so na ubi nak kau masalah kira bi kimi ni temanggo ni na nomor na non rambula marro na non rambula lumut na non rambula na nombor tu rangan bi baka rotaki na non rambula dingo bi na baka bauta nak kalau kimi masa kediba dingo bi na baka bauta na Riri vinaka na bula bula, oh tamangu na merangonya lewa ya vinaka, merangonya lewa na turang ando ang grabi kimi. Father, they will be worshippers of you, Lord, and they will love God from their hearts, O Lord. And we receive that we decree that, O Father, they will dance to you, O Father, they will worship you, and they will be beautiful children, O Lord, receiving everything that is of you in their life. We call, O Father, intelligence, knowledge, and wisdom. We receive maturity in their spirit. We believe and we receive that, O Father, because you are their creator. You spoke. And they came to be. Masalah kira telangan dengan orang ni, tapi mati. Tambang orang masalah.
sole kita kena mata kini kuat. Esombe aku sengiri tu orang kena kelu. Nama orang suatu mana nama betul ram. Tambang guni. Allah Allah lama. Ni maroya. We approach every element of sickness to leave their body now in Jesus name. Tambang guni. Esombe aku kena kelu. Eros sengiri tu orang kena. Tengi tengi boleh ngai bal. Isana nama betul ram. Again ravi ertelinga now we nak kongo. For those that goes to school, we pray for your blessing. We receive your favor to go before them, watch over them, and protect them and bring them home safely every day. Lord, we pray this prayer, believing and receiving in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Okay, Okay. Right. We thank the Lord this morning. And that is our, our conclusion of uh, the dedication service. And we thank the Lord for this wonderful time. Hallelujah. Okay, and uh, that's the end of our dedication today. And Lee Kayla, stop crying. Say bye, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining me on the virtual dedication this morning. Now we will go straight into our Holy Communion. And uh, for those of you that have been logging in, uh, this is another... Another reminder to everybody that are sitting there. You know, some women are sitting there and they, they hear or they see, they witness uh, babies or children being ordained this morning. Uh, we will come before the Lord today on our ordainment. And I would like to challenge you today. Uh, challenge you that nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible with your God. And, and that's the same God. Uh, that we worship, that's the same God that we believe in, mm. and uh, we would like to challenge you today. And not only for the, the women who are actually praying uh, to have a child, I'm also uh, bringing into the uh, Holy Communion this morning uh, families or couples that have been separated. Um, something must have happened along the way that, uh, you know, uh, you're not together, or fathers have left uh, mom and the children, or mom have left the father and the children, uh, whichever way. Uh, this morning, those are the two very yes. um, uh, items. I was really convicted uh, strongly this morning by the Holy Spirit to come and share it with us. So uh, whichever of those two you were sitting at, um, like what I said, you will witness uh, uh, babies being dedicated today, and in your heart you long and you desire uh, to have a child. Uh, this is the Holy Communion for it. Yes. And also when... Uh, you receive it. And uh, if you are, are being separated from your husband or yes. a lot of things happening at home, a disagreement uh, and a lot of things happening at home, this is the time. Uh, there's no other solution to it. Uh, I would like all of us to come before the Lord and dedicate to the Lord. You know, sometimes we can be arguing. We, can, we have a, a totally different outlooks on things. Uh, it's not that we don't like each other. Uh, they're just different views. And sometimes uh, we allow these things uh, to be yes. so overriding yeah. and overwhelm your relationship and take away the love that you once had for each other. There's so, different on issues. Yeah. But not supposed to be a, yeah. a cause it's not of supposed separation. supposed to, yeah, yeah. to take away, you know, your love, love for each and, other. Yeah. So this morning, uh, those are the two uh, focal points that yeah. I would like us to uh, concentrate on, uh, as well as all others, like, you know, in our category. There are other things which are sitting on. So as we go through the Holy Communion today, or and also not forgetting uh, for the couples you may be together but you've lost it you know uh, I believe that through COVID-19 it's a big, 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 uh, um, you know, um, exposure. Not only that, a big opportunity uh, that God had allowed for most couple. Uh, sort of like you, you take... Um, Time out from your work or time out from your friends, you know, and how God allowed all things, the curfew, uh, the gathering, uh, social distancing. He allowed all that and, and you're left with nothing other than your family. So you wake up to them, you sleep with them, uh, everything about your family is right there before you. And those, you know, that family of yours is a very important uh, uh, element of your life. But over the years, because of your work commitment, because you love your work and uh, of your social, you know, socializing with other people, you tend to... Uh, 
um, give the least priority to your family. But COVID-19 sort of brought them back uh, in a bit. And uh, now most of us, we, we can look back. For me at home, uh, sometimes I wish that I could go back to COVID-19 because it was a good time uh, for me with my children, for me and my grandchildren. You know, you can be a mom, you can be a, a grandmother, you can cook, you can bake, uh, you can do other things. So you can just sit there being a grandmother and watch over your grandchildren. And I, I miss those moments. So you can be, you know, your story can be similar to ours and whatever it is, uh, something that you have found. Uh, some of you maybe before, it's like a five minutes, 10 minutes with your children. But now after COVID, you begin to value your children and have a more quality time with them. So whatever stage that you are at or whatever uh, scenario that you are in, we pray this morning that through this Holy Communion that God is going to restore your love for each other as a couple and God is going to restore your family by bringing your wife or bringing your husband back home and God is going to restore and answer prayer uh, for women that are desiring to have a child. Mm -hmm. So with those uh, spoken and mentioned this morning, I would like us to have faith and come in agreement as we partake the Holy Communion today. Have that in your mind, believe it in your heart, match them, trust God that it can happen to you this morning. Uh, we'll ask uh, Gasselevo to uh, lead us through to partake this, and then we will have a prayer to commit all. Bread represent Christ's body. Amen. And when we partake, that means what, whatever suffering that uh, he went through, Amen. you remember that. Hallelujah. That nothing, absolutely nothing. Is impossible with God. Amen. Receive what is mentioned today. Yeah. Receive it. The joy in the family, the joy in the marriage. Hallelujah. The, the satisfaction when we come from a broken family. And also for you women that are called barren or maybe you're still waiting for a child, call it. Yeah. Call it today as we commit. Yes. Let us partake together bread and then after that with the wine. When he finished the, the dinner, he poured wine and he, and he said, let us partake it. It represents my blood. It's a new covenant. Let us come before the Lord in prayer. Lord, we are committing this time. Yes, Father. You know our list. Yes, Lord. You know everybody's heart cry. We are calling the fruit of the womb. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We are calling the baby into the womb. In Jesus' name. Womb, in the name of Jesus, prepare yourself. Any oh, sickness, hallelujah. if any curses, anything that becomes a barrier for conceit, I bind it right in now Jesus in name. the name of Jesus. Right now, I bind it in the name of Jesus and cast it to the lake of fire. Amen. So we receive the fruit of the womb. Yes, Lord. Now, and the time like this next year will be the evidence of what happened to In me. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. For those that are having family problem, yeah. I pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we receive satisfaction. Oh, we hallelujah. receive completion. Yes, so we Father. receive the peace and joy oh, of God. Restoration to their homes, we so Lord. receive it right now. In Jesus name. As we partake, yes, the so bread Father. represents yes. the body and the oh, wine represents the blood. God. We are receiving it right now In because Jesus our name. God is a covenant keeping God. Thank you, Father God, for the miracle that will happen. In Jesus name. We are receiving it now. Thank you for the miracle. Thank you for the miracle to that family. Miracle to that woman, oh, miracle hallelujah. to that man, miracle to those yes, children that they have been crying. We receive yes. miracle right oh, now. Thank you, Lord. The three points that we share, we receive miracle right now in Jesus' name. Oh, we thank you, Father God, for your blessing into our life. We are so blessed this morning. We are so blessed. We give you the glory and the honor and the praises in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. And everyone say, Amen, amen. and Amen. amen. Hallelujah. I think that was awesome. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank the Lord for this morning. And we believe that we've uh, covered the dedication and also the Holy mm -hmm. Communion. Now is the time of, spare, of sharing against all odds. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I believe that God will bless us this wonderful morning. Hallelujah. Yeah, like we've uh, shared uh, this morning on um, the Holy Communion uh, prayer points. Mm. 
uh, you know, for the couples and uh, the relationship yes. at home. We believe, uh, you know, we've been um, uh, sharing on the kingdom economics, on the end time finances, and against all odds. Odds can be a lot of ways. Can be uh, your bills that are overwhelming. You cannot uh, find mm -hmm. the space or even the money uh, to pay. And uh, it can be health. It can be a lot of contributing factors. It's sort of like, you know, it just doesn't make it to normal. And although that's uh, all the odds of your life. And, and the, the odds becomes a reality to us. Yes. Yeah. But the truth is that everything is already taken to the cross. Yes. Yeah. We should focus on the truth. Yes. We, we should focus on what Jesus said, on what he said. It can happen. Yes. Yeah. We should focus on that. Because the odds will never go away. It's no, going to be there. Because during COVID-19, you know, like before uh, before COVID-19, uh, you had some odds, but not that bad. But during COVID, your odds went skyrocket up. Yeah. And uh, now, uh, because when we had the COVID-19, the pandemic uh, globally, yeah. and we had some companies that have uh, closed down and uh, actually sent people home. Yeah. But when you went home, uh, there was still some money that they gave you because of your salary deal or yeah. maybe other conditions or concession given by the company. But now we begin to feel in our spirit uh, as we uh, look around that it's more trying moments, which means mm -hmm. that those money has sort of phased out, um, you know, this limit, uh, limitation in a lot of resources around you, and it's taking its toll yes. uh, on your life. And that's why we want to direct your focus to God. Uh, because with God, absolutely nothing is impossible, like you yes. said in Luke 1, page oh, 7. Hallelujah. You know, uh, we've just prayed over the couples, like what I said, uh, the couples, the, the barren women or women who are desiring to uh, have children. Uh, we've just uh, yeah, The broken homes. We've just prayed over yeah. that. And we believe in, in God, uh, you know, due to the power of his word in Romans 4, 17, that he calls the dead to life. To life. You know, like the dead. He calls that to life. And not only that, he calls things that are not as though they are. So... If you're one of the ones who join us, um, you know, in agreement on that Holy Communion, uh, we would like you today for you to change your prayer, change your focus, uh, change your mind. Change your mindset, uh, yeah, you, yeah, you need to be positive and you need, you know, it says that he calls things that are not as though they are. You may not, uh, your husband may not be home, your wife may not be home, or, you know, like the things you look like it's not there, but he call it. And when you pray, say, thank you for my husband's coming back home. Or thank you for the restoration of my marriage. Or thank you for my baby. Thank you for my child. So when you say that, you are not only uh, believing that you're calling things that are not as though they are. You're actually having faith. And that faith pleases God. And because of your positive confession, yeah. you will also live that life conditioning because you are confessing. Yes. When you confess, you, uh, you, it's automatically your lifestyle starts to change for that right condition that uh, God will provide yes. miracles. It's very important because once we change our mindset, we know it's there, but we call things as they are when they are not. Yeah. And that is faith. That's what pleases God. God Hallelujah. is pleased when we trust him uh, with everything that we have, every challenges that we go through, eh? yes. every challenges that we go through, we will, we will trust in God. And that's why all those odds will become even because God is in control. It's a divine intervention. intervention. Yes. Yeah. We call it uh, the supernatural becomes yours. Yes. Yeah. And I believe the, the topic that we just prayed for, it will happen in our life. Thank you. It will yeah. become, become reality in our life. Yes. Yeah. And uh, according to, to, to the Bible, there are so many things that is written down. These are the fruit of those that trust in God. Yes. Uh, the reason why they were written down, so it become evidence to us today. If they were not written down, then we don't have a reference point. So it's already done and it can happen again. Yes. Yeah, yeah and, and that goes for anything. Like yes. what uh, like we were sharing today, it's the marriage, it's uh, uh, you know having a child. And that goes to you in your level of your need where you're sitting at. Uh, it can be your home, that, like what we always mention, uh, your home that you're wanting to buy or wanting to sell, your car, a lot of things that is around you. It can be your business that it's dying mm. and you want it revived. Uh, it can be your, your work, 
your work promotion, you become stuck for wherever you are, you're not seem, you know, you don't seem to be going up, or you're losing it, um, you know, some of the work, like your boss is trying to tell you, we may not need that to be, you know, ongoing. Yeah. So only time will tell, but don't wait for that time to tell you. you. You stand on the promises of God today. I have faith and believe that the favor of God is upon you. Whatever it is, he, will, he can turn it around uh, to your favor. You need to believe that because he's a miracle working God. And he will make a way when there is no way. Yes. And he is going to be there for you. Oh, like what Gassel is sharing with us this morning, you know, you need to provide the condition. What are the conditions that I can provide? And we've taken you, uh, you know, in the previous few Sundays on those conditions. It, it's the people that you keep around you. You need people around you that... Uh, you know, speak to you positive and you hear good things. They do good things. They speak life to your life. Uh, there's no negativity and no curses, no slander, no murmur, uh, no gossip. So the conditions are there. And as long as you, you know, create the condition, the faster you create the condition or the quicker you get to the condition yes. that God wants yeah. you. It's amazing. You can't stop uh, what God will do for you and pour out to you, you know, to your favor. So maybe some of you, you know, you're juggling be uh, between your finances and maybe health. Uh, because prosperity, it's not only in terms of, of, uh, of uh, money or the value. Prosperity, prosperity can be all, the health. Yeah, yeah. All direction. Prosperity is, uh, you know, wholesome of uh, what you can, uh, what you can be. Uh, yesterday, he actually went to one uh, launching open. Yes. I think uh, that company. Thank you, Watson. Um, we had um, him that went yesterday to pray over. I think uh, that company was uh, launched open by yeah. the uh, Honorable, Honorable Prime, Prime Minister, Prime Minister yeah. and it's called the Merch. And uh, maybe some of you have watched it online or uh, in the social network. And uh, for me to have that, you know, it takes God. It takes God to allow things like that. There may be areas of your life, like what we, we were sharing all the same on Sunday. Don't allow the, uh, you know, the pandemic or don't allow the new normal around you to define you. No, you step up and you stand up strong and say, no, I'm going to define who I want to be. Because so we, you can break even with a lot of because things Because we are you. not defined yeah. by what is around us. Eh? The things around us, they don't define us. Yeah. When you know that you are from God, you are defined purpose. Yes. By God. Yeah. So that's why our thinking is very, very important. Yes. When we think of his word, we'll, we'll talk about his word yeah. or meditate on his yeah. word or say his word. Then this word will set the platform. And that's why when we have positivity, some people, they don't go to church. But the, the word they speak yeah. is very positive. Yes. Yeah. And they live a life. And um, I mean, the condition of their living yeah. uh, attracts God's provision yes, to their because life. Our God is not a fair God. Yeah. He is a just God. Yeah. So we can do all this religious thing. But, but uh, we don't live we, the life. Yeah, we don't have the condition yeah. for God's provision. Yes. We must set the provision, the condition. Then God will set the provision. the provision. And that's why it's very important. The people that are around you, the words that you say, the, the, the thoughts that goes into your mind. Mm. Because it starts to define you. So when you put the word of God, which really define you, then the words come from your mouth. It's the word of God. Yes, because you're not the you're not the tail, you are the head. Yes. You're always at the top and never at the bottom. So don't ever receive anything lesser than that because you're a believer. Yes. Yes. Kibaka it becomes a holy ground. Yeah. And that's why it's very important. Very, very important. Because whatever the environment throws at you, you are willing to go through because you have God in you. The Bible says, the, the one that is in you is greater, greater than, than the one, one that is outside yeah. you. Yeah. So whatever the world throws at you... Now you are <laughs> a fighter from inside. You yes. need to fend it off and fight it. Yeah. Greater is the one who is in you. Hallelujah. Yeah. So whatever that I face in this life, I don't need money. I need God. Money is there, it's good. No, good house is good. But what I need is God. God. Yeah. Because he is the source of money. He is the source 
of re receiving. He is the source of all my resources. Yeah. And that's why it's very, very important as you are sharing the condition. Uh, we have been testifying, for those of you that are watching, most of our preaching, most of our sharing is just full of testimony. And sometimes it can bring doubt to people, and sometimes uh, uh, people will ask for one another whether we are, we, are, we are true or not. It doesn't really matter to us. What matters to us is to, to share with you the goodness of this God. We are not perfect. We just trust in Him. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says faith pleases God. God yeah. When you... When you have faith in God, it does not mean that you are 100%. It does not mean that I'm 100%. No. It just shows that we trust in God. Yes. In everything that we do. You need to trust in God. Don't, don't trust in the work that you have because that work can yeah. be taken away. You know, today, I mean, we've seen what happened during the pandemic. We, yes. We've seen what happened during the COVID-19. The unthinkable happened. Mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, the stable thing that you have uh, uh, projected and really believed it's going to happen for your family. It's and you even away. plan yeah. right up to 55 years old and then you retire properly. That has sort of like, you know, a havoc now because you cannot control uh, what is happening around you. But the, the comfort in the thought that you trust in God, trust in it's God. amazing what he can do for you. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Because he becomes your, I mean, your provider, your source, your everything. <laughs> there is because, no fear yeah. of facing tomorrow because you know your God is today yes. and he's also been through your tomorrow. Tomorrows. So the fear is not there with you. So you will always want to do the, the unreachable and you will touch the untouchable because you can do whatever yeah, Because comes. you're daring. You're yes. daring from your spirit. You dare them. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and also if you're listening in today, like what we mentioned in the beginning of the service today, if you don't be believe in God, you don't belong to a church, um, you know, try this Jesus out. Yes. Uh, you may be thinking, okay, you know, I see all Christians are doing that and that and that. But, you know, just don't look at them and look at God. Because God is going to be the provider and God is going to be hearing your prayer. God is going to heal the sick. Uh, he's capable of doing the unthinkable because he, he is full of miracles, uh, signs and wonders. Mm. So for those of us that are coming in agreement today, like what we were mentioning and sharing with you, uh, maybe your mind, you know, this is a battlefield. Your mind is a battlefield. Your heart can be praying, believing in Christ, believing uh, in God, providing for a lot of things, but your mind is a battlefield because your mind sort of like logistically will look and like if you're saying in your heart no I'm good because God is going to be you know providing that I am good with your heart here well settled but your mind you look around and your mind plays up on you your mind is trying to tell you what are you saying what are you praying for uh, what are you believing in because I cannot see the proof of it around you and you that's your battlefield you need to get your mind to think like the mind of Christ uh, to believe you need to believe and match what you believe in your heart with your mind and you will see the quickest way that God will provide because you have faith completely uh, from your heart and you trust in the power of his word like what we've been sharing with you on John 1 1 in the beginning there was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And the Bakatika was some Boloko Conabosa, as a Tikopatika Kaloko Conabosa, as a Kaloko Conabosa. In the Bakarova Tikomenikua, Nakalo Quenabosa, Kimbala, the Bibosa Kedinikalo, Bolitike, and Nomu and Nirao. Now, what's the Kedinikaloko Yukum of Bakambota? You need to meditate on the power of His Word because His Word is telling you today in Luke 1 uh, 137 that with God, absolutely nothing is impossible. And not only that, He says in Jeremiah 32 27, I am a God of all mankind. What can I not do? You know, that's the God that we serve. He's trying to tell you on your face and also convict us in our heart that he can do all things because he is the God of all mankind. And if you're lacking something at home, next day to prepare. And if you have children and you always have issues of children's lunches, I would like to ask you today, uh, prepare their lunchbox the night before. Lay them ready. If you have to cover them with whatever, cover it with foil, cover it with anything, and leave them food. ready. And say, Lord, I receive that. Tomorrow you're going to be providing for my children's lunches. Or tomorrow you're going to be providing that. And if you look at your children's shoes, it doesn't seem to fit. You come, whatever shoe is there, lay them and touch them and say, Lord, I receive 
receive a good new pair of shoes for my children. And you say that out of faith the day before or the night before. If it doesn't happen the next day, do it say. again. Continue to do it until you see that it's going to happen. Because this God will never walk past you. He will stand still for sure. He will answer you. He will incline his ears to listen to your prayer. You, but you need to believe in him and believe in him from your heart. Don't believe in the things that you can see to make you feel better. No. You believe and trust in something that you cannot see. You believe and you trust in something that you haven't found seen what can do. But you believe because you know that there is a God. That's why that the Bible says you. meditate on the word of God. Day Hallelujah. And night. He, he meditated on the day, uh, on, the, on the word of the Lord day and night. He thinks yeah. of the word of that God. That means yeah. his mind is full of the word of full God. Full of the word. And that's why the mind will not be um, uh, contaminated by the things he sees. Yes. Because when you see things, the reality is there. Yeah. No money, empty wallet, empty, empty fridge. Cupboard. Yeah. And your mind will focus on that. But when your mind is in God, you will tell the things that they are not yeah. to, to become they are. Yes. Yeah. Because you trust in the word of God. Yeah. You, you trusted his word because your mind is filled. See, the reality is this, empty, struggling. But the truth is this. I can according do all to the truth yeah. of God. According yeah. to the word of God, you receive the truth. Amen. Yeah. yeah. And the truth is the one is about the word of God. People are saying this. See, when David came to the to the uh, to the fight, to the battlefield, the, uh, the reality is that this man is a giant, this man is a warrior, this man is a soldier. Yeah? But the truth is, my God is greater Amen. than anything. So he was not focus, focusing on the reality. He was focusing on the truth. Hallelujah. Yeah. When, when Jesus said to Peter, uh, move to the deep, take the net and put it to the side of, uh, uh, to, uh, to the right side. See, the truth, uh, the, the reality, we've been fishing all, all night. night. with no fish. With no fish. But the truth is, he is the creator. Yeah, the yeah. power of his word. The power of his word. Uh, the, the truth is that he can do all things. Hallelujah. And that's why, we need the truth, and the, the truth is Jesus himself. And he is the one that is speaking to us. So when we fill our mind with the truth, we will not listen yes. to the reality. Yeah. And you will not be intimidated <laughs> with things that are yes, happening yeah. around you. Uh, yeah. Fear and afraid yes. is not... Yes, you will be bold. Yeah. You will be bold. You know, the, uh, the different kind of boldness that you cannot describe. Uh, there are certain things, you know, even by looking around, there's nothing at all. Some of us quickly have that fear. Yeah. Like that, uh, that's why you that run nothing is there. You run around and you're asking around and, yeah. and you go and uh, ask for uh, for loan here and there. Yeah. So you are just building up your credit level to yes. another point. That, that you cannot pay. Yeah. And brings a lot of worries. Eh? Because the Bible says, don't worry and say, what shall we eat? Hallelujah. What shall we drink? What shall we wear? Hallelujah. That's worry. Yes. Yeah. But when you have the truth in you, you, you will seek ye first the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Because all these things, shall be added. So we'll just so you have got the kingdom. And all this thing is just part of it. Yes. It's not the real thing. Yeah. The real thing is God in us. And that's why a lot of people they need the word of God every Sunday. Because that's the real thing. The real issue here is the word of word God. Of God. Yeah. You need to believe in the word of God. You yes. need to trust in the word yeah. of God. Like what we've mentioned, for those of you who do not believe in God, nor belong to any church, they have to you know, be. you you need yeah. to Get yourself a Bible and read the Word of God. And then maybe you will ask yourself, or you're trying to tell us, how can I do that? Uh, you know, who will teach us? The Holy Spirit is the greatest yeah. teacher. Once you pick up that Bible and once you read a verse, it's amazing. Uh, you know, the understanding that you never used to have before, you will automatically have it. Because it's no longer you, but the power of the Holy Spirit guiding you. And maybe you'll, you'll tell us, oh, I haven't prayed, in, you know, at any time. I don't know how to pray. And, you know, just learn. I'll call, just like you're talking to your father. I'll say, I'm good today. Thank you so much for today. Thank you for loving me today. I was sharing with my grandchildren in our devotion last night. And I said, make sure every time you lie down, before you go to sleep, you say, Lord, thank you. You're going to sleep with me tonight and watch over me. When you wake up in the morning, thank and you sit up, thank you, Jesus, for being with me tonight. Yes. Uh, last night, you're going to be with me today. And I said, you don't need to make it so complicated. Uh, it's not the words that you use. It's just a simple relationship that you can find with your God. And you need to find that. You need to get that. Maybe you're trying to raise your hand wherever you are. You're trying to tell us, 
so no. Those people are very spiritual. I'm not a spiritual person, but I would like to have that as my guide, you know? And don't look at that. Don't look at, you know, other people being spiritual. You look at yourself and say to yourself, challenge yourself that a relationship with God, no matter, like what we said today, you can be wearing the most oldest clothing, the, you know, farm cl clothes or whatever clothes you have on your body right now and we may be dressed ready for church it doesn't really matter what matter is your heart yeah. and you may be smoking way out there in a porch or maybe hangover from the night before or grog dope from whatever place that you come back from and hearing heart. and listening uh, to the word this morning we would like to encourage you and embrace you to the presence of God for you to give God an opportunity yeah. uh, to love you give God an opportunity uh, to serve you give God an opportunity to provide for you give God an opportunity to fix you. Uh, give God an opportunity to bring your family together. Give God an opportunity. God will not come and force himself on you, but you need to invite him as part of your family, as part of your life, as part of everything that you continue to do, because he never failed. This God never failed, because he is a faithful God. When the conversation with Jesus and Nicodemus, yeah, Nicodemus was very, very a religious leader. Yeah. That means he hold position, authority. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are from God Amen. because the things that you do uh, uh, is only done by people that they have God yeah. in them. So the conversation started to go deeper and deeper. Then Nicodemus kept quiet for a while. Then Jesus started to show him the love of God. You can be uh, positioned in church, in the community, in your workplace, but God's heart is for you. Amen. God wants to connect it to yeah, you. Yeah, because he loves yeah. you. And that's when the famous Bible verse comes in. For God so loved the, the world. world that he gave his begotten son. Whoever believes in him shall not perish. So God's heart is for a relationship with men. Mm. There are people that are watching today. Amen. That maybe they said, oh, I have a good house. I have a good car, good position. Why, sh why should I give my life to Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't really need God. Yeah, I don't really, and I tell you, that is the most foolish question a man can say. Because a time will come, you and me will stand before the God, creator. Yeah. And it is our duty to encourage you and to show you, after this life, then where? Hallelujah. After this life. When we go to our coffin and go to cemetery, nobody knows us anymore. Amen. We just become a, a story, yeah. a history. And so we want to encourage you that that is not the end of the story. We are from God. We live in this life. And we will go back to God. Amen. That's why Jesus was very concerned about Nicodemus. Mm. And he said everything. And said, for God so loved the world that he gave his begotten son. For whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting, everlasting life. life. Yeah. For God did not send his son to the world to judge you. No. He sent his son to the world to save the world. Hallelujah. We are saved through grace, not by our good works. See, the love of God is already there. You just have to have faith in him. And we want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, whatever effects of pandemic that you're going through right now, yes. financial, relationship, your family, your children, or even your work, to God, everything can it's be possible. done. It's yeah. possible. Everything is possible. So we want to encourage you yes. this morning that the answer in everything that we do is God. And that's why it's easy. See, Jesus is in this world to take us back to God. He said, no one comes to the Father except through me. Mm. So my friend, when you believe Jesus Christ is your personal Savior, I tell you, you are taken back to the Garden of Eden. You want to go back to the Garden of Eden? You know the meaning of Garden of Eden? You it's a paradise in, yeah. on earth. So that means God will provide. Provide for your yeah. need. Uh, and also today, you need to know that you have the authority that God has oh, given you. You have the authority. As a believer, you have the authority. Mm. So as we come to an end of the God of Our Nation program this Sunday, we would like to encourage you, we would like to uh, uh, you know, invite you uh, to know God more and mm. search Him and seek for Him deeper, uh, deeper than your spirit. Uh, look for a time, a good time for you to, uh, you know, say words, even when you're driving. For me, uh, the best time to talk to my God is when I drive on my own, because I'll cry, I'll talk to him, talk about the bills, talk about my children, my husband, my grandchildren, everything else I talk to him about. And as I get off the car, and sometimes I go past the car, I can be crying in the car, that was my moment. So you may have your moment. Mm. So I have my two crucial moments, in the car and also in the shower, in the shower, or in the bathroom. So 
I would like you to, to seek that personal relationship with God. And know today that God has given you the authority. Oh, Just like as he says in Psalms 8 uh, from 3. He said, when I consider the heaven, the moon and the star that you have set in place, what is man that you think of him? Mere man. And yet you think of him. You created him just a little lower than the heavenly beings. You crowned him with his glory mm -hmm. and your honor. And you gave him the authority, made him ruler over all that you have created and placed them under the feet. So today, as we come to an end, uh, before Ngasa will pray for us today, I need you to believe. When you're a believer, believe. Niko Bakarochman Worship Center, Zone, globally, wherever, Zoom meet, you know, however meeting that you're having today in a fellowship, I need you to believe and start believing. Don't ever be, you know, intimidated by the things around you. Rise above them and rise with God because God is in your heart. And rise and fight. Don't ever receive or accept the things that are around you. You keep on fighting because God is on your side. You provide all the condition because the victory is ours. The battle belongs to God. So on that note, I will ask Gasilevu to pray and end our service today. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Oh, we praise thank you, your Jesus. Name. Yes, we, we thank, thank you, Father, Father, for your blessing this morning. We yes, go Lord. through the screen into every household, oh, into every worship center, yes, Lord. We into thank you. every zone into yes. every region that oh, come and every family we thank so you Father God thank you Jesus there's a couple husband and wife yes, Lord. and also the children yes, or maybe somebody very lonely right now in broken pushed aside yes Lord oh not counted at all I pray in the name of Jesus yes, that the Father. word said this morning becomes life into their in blood in Jesus name becomes life into their life in Jesus name becomes life into their family we thank you Father God for today thank you Holy we Spirit. show them with a blessing from you we call Blessing into their life. In Jesus' we name. We thank you, Father we God, for open doors Father. and the opportunity. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father God. Abundance, overflow in their In life. Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. This is our prayer. We give you the glory and the honor and the praises to be yours and yours alone. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray and everyone say, Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Hallelujah. From the studio here in Turek in Suba, we say, God bless you. Have a blessed Sunday. See you next Sunday. And also for Suva, if you're free today, Suva region, you forgot to mention so. Uh, today you can join the fourth short, the whole region. Not only for Sydney Pass and ASP with the new uh, ease of restriction, you can all attend. That's for the Suva region today. So if you're not a church member, log in on my TV, check your YLC app, and also be part of the fellowship tonight or this afternoon at 3 to 4. So see you next Sunday, and thank you.